Yeah. Okay, what I'm going to talk to you about is the lockdown effect. What is this lockdown effect? If you do a surgery after four months, then what will happen? You will have that mental block, your self-doubt, no confidence, your hands will start <laughs> shivering. Okay, that is what I'm going to see. You can see here, this patient is a, one of my golf caddies, an alcoholic who got bashed by his wife and subluxated I will. I thought, okay, let me be heroic in this and try to open up the conjunctiva and everybody is talking about Gore-Tex. Why I'm not doing Gore-Tex? Okay, I thought I'll do the Gore-Tex switching and try to fix this single piece hydrophilic lens. This is a Rayner type lens, okay? I found this, this lens is a little tricky. Okay, I just do the anterior vitrectomy, bimanual anterior vitrectomy, the anterior chamber maintainer there and put a groove there and then go ahead and put the Gore-Tex suture. I thought this will come because single piece hydrophobic lenses, I have fixed it to the, to the wall, but it has not had, a, we have not had any problem. You can see these hydrophilic lenses are very, very funny. You can see here how it's happening. It's going down south, okay? And the entire lens has started going up, going down. This is what happens when you have a lockdown and after four months you start operating, okay? And this is where you have to do what is called the anterior assisted levitation of the lens. I brought it up, used the micro forceps, and then extended the incision and brought this out and did the, obviously you have to do the anterior vitrectomy and what else you can do, okay? I just made the groove and did what is called the flap plus glued eye oil, okay? Being Chennai capsules and the land of glued eye oil, I can't think of anything else but a glued eye oil, okay? Put a glued eye oil, you can see here a multi-piece lens going into the uh, uh, into this thing and exteriorizing it and the rest is uh, the routine steps and can see this patient was also on aspirin, which he didn't tell me. And you can see he's bleeding from all over the place. Okay. And uh, from the, whenever I touched the iris, the iris was bleeding. And you can see that I'm exteriorizing and tucking that optic into the groove with, because I don't have scleral flaps on either side. Of course, we had to do tricot assisted anterior vitrectomy here. And then I'm putting that uh, groove there and putting the chariots tunnel there and inserting that haptic into the tunnel. And uh, uh, then uh, there is no flap there. You can see that everything is going on very well without any problem. I have to suture that because I don't have a flap. I have to suture that flap and uh, making sure that there's no hypotony in that side and ma making the, this particular thing, again, checking there whether the uh, vitreous is there in the anterior chamber, repeatedly putting tricot, preservative tricot, and then going ahead and you know this is what happens you know when you have the mental block and self doubt and when you are not operating for a long time you don't think as well and that's what happened here and ultimately the patient did very well i put myocal there is no vitreous this thing and glued the conjunctiva and the patient did very well for 3 months he had 6 9 after 3 months what happened he died of covid okay and okay this is another patient you can see here just like the way show, this thing um, uh, partha was showing that very beautifully, I want to show you again, while putting the lens, still now the game was very good. Putting the lens, you can see, putting a single piece, acrylic soft lenses. When I remove the this thing, see what's happening. The lens has started displacing. I could have fixed that bag. The vitreous has come out. This is a microsphere of the universal zone lapati. Again, I have to do a glued eye oil. Okay, already a CTR is inside. The intraocular lens is inside. Extend the incision, you remove the eye oil, remove the CTR, and put a glued eye oil in this case. And the patient did very well. This patient is still surviving. He didn't die of COVID. I did a femto after four months and can see this arcuate incision is leaking because I used a new nomogram after three or four months when I start using a femto. And this is what a new nomogram, this will not happen. This is the new normal, which is now becoming very common with all of us. And this is the new normal. Thank you very much for the